When I need 1 8 scale replicas of a half inch hex head machine screw, what do I do? I make them. And hey, who doesn't need 1 8 scale replicas of a half inch hex head machine screw from time to time? The thing is, I don't think you can buy them anywhere. You can find 0 80 screws and nuts, but no place I've found sells the screws with hex heads. I'm Kerry Millisap, and this is my shop. Today, I'm going to show you how I make a 1 8 scale replica of a half inch hex head machine screw. My work starts with a plan that's simple enough to sketch on the back of a business card. I measure a real-life half-inch hex head machine screw to find the dimensions of the head. Then I divide everything by 8 to create the dimensions for my replica. My screw will have begun its life as a simple 17-gauge nail. The shaft diameter at 55 thousandths of an inch is a little small for scale, but it's perfect for threading later. Something I'll have to fix, though, is the head thickness. It's well short of the 41 thousandths of an inch that I'll need to make a scale head. The material I'll add is also just a nail. I don't even know what size it is, but its diameter is big enough to match the head of my machine screw. I center drill, not too deep, so the bit doesn't wander, and then just part off a thin disc. I made myself a special tool for conforming the disc and the head to each other. I meant it with a soldering iron, and I have enough material to make a scale head. Next I'll use the CNC rotating table on my mill to cut the six flats that will make the hex head. I cut a face, rotate the table 60 degrees, and cut another face. I repeat this six times. The head dimensions check out. This means that I've set the edge of the cutter half of the flat to flat head width away from the center of the rotating table. A nice trick is that if the head size is right, I can use a number four socket head cap screw as a driver. Next, it's back to the lathe to trim the head to scale thickness, which is 41 thousandths of an inch. To do this, I move my grooving tool along the z-axis until it just contacts the head of the nail. Then I set my digital readout z-value to zero. Next, I move the tool 31 thousandths of an inch down the z-axis. This is the thickness of my grooving tool. At this point, the back of the groover and the head surface of the nail are coplanar. I zero the z-value again on my DRO. Now I move the tool 41 thousandths of an inch further down the z-axis and re-zero. This zero is my head thickness cutting target. It's safer to cut the head outward from underneath than to try to make the cut by advancing the groover along the x dimension. So I find the shaft with the top of my groover and then cut underneath the nail head by moving the groover to the right along the z-axis until I reach my target zero. Before I unchuck the nail from the lathe, now is a good time to chamfer the top of the head to match the chamfer on the prototype. That's what causes each face to have an arched top. The arches look good under magnification, and the head thickness is 41 thousandths of an inch right on the money. Next, I measure and cut the nail to length. The screws I'm making are 660 thousandths of an inch long, which is a 1 8 scale 5 and a quarter inch long. I face and chamfer the tip with my belt sander. And now the most fun part of the project, threading. The special challenge here is that I can't chuck the head into the lathe. The head just isn't big enough to give the chuck a good grip. So I made a tool that looks like a little coupling nut, but it's not threaded. Its exterior shape is the same as the head, so I just line it up with the head and the chuck, and then everything's solid. I mount a 080 die loosely in my lathe's tailstock, and I'll advance that die into the chamfered tip of the nail by hand. When the die begins to cut the threads, the nail will begin to pull the die towards the headstock. When it gets close enough, I simply let go. Then I power off the machine and spin the die off the part by hand, and officially my nail is a screw. The ultimate test, of course, is to see if it will screw into a 1 8 scale half inch nut. <laughs> yeah, it will. I hope you enjoyed this little story of how a nail became a screw. If you like this kind of thing, like and subscribe, and next maybe I'll show you how I made the nut.
Thanks for watching. Now go make yourself a great day.